A speeding taxi driver is stopped in his tracks. Confusion engulfs the scene as he vehemently claimed that a traffic warden had signaled him to move. But the traffic warden contradicted this account, leading to escalating tempers. Fortunately, a police officer intervened, bringing back a sense of calm to the situation. This chaotic scene is not an isolated incident, but rather a common experience for motorists at the Baia traffic intersection, which unfortunately has become synonymous with malfunctioning traffic lights in Ghana. Situated on the N1, a major highway, commuters have endured the non-functioning traffic light for nearly three years. The traffic light uh, in this in, 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 has been very, very terrible. Because any time uh, you come, the, the, um, the police have to delay us here. We have to wait for so many times. And in the last time, it even caused uh, a uh, accident here. Because the police was trying to stop the car. The car didn't even see the policeman. So he just passed and another car came and hit him. Since last year. Since last year, so it's not working for since last year. How does it make your commute here like? Sometimes when you are coming from Kaswa in midnight, it's very dangerous. Ironically, along the same N1 route, all other traffic lights operate flawlessly. So what afflicts the Bahia traffic light which connects Odoko to Pukwase and Tema to Cape Coast? James Samu Gottfried, the director of Urban Roads, provides some insights. Talking about Bahia, the controller has been stolen three times. I don't know how we are expected to cope with challenges like this. Because the controller is expensive, number one. And number two, it takes time to fix it. And it's not as if it's very easy to pick the controller and take it away. So how come it doesn't get reported, nobody sees it? It's a bit worrying. You've never seen it even come on set since three years. Uh, so if they said they're fixing it, I don't think, I don't think it's a lie. Yeah. But they say when they fix it, it gets stolen. The thing that controls it to work is stolen all the time. And the, so the, they want to say the moment they fix it, it gets stolen. Or what? Because if you fix it, maybe it will, at least it takes some days. I've been using this suit for the more than five years. It has never come on. Since three years, it has never come on. If they fix it, I can see it working. Adding to the puzzle, security cameras are in place at the intersection. Yet, thieves manage to pilfer expensive cables and controllers without facing consequences. The security cam cameras are not under my jurisdiction, so I cannot we speak to it. Yes, we should. So much to fix these uh, controllers and they are getting stolen and we have spent so much to also fix security cameras. It's only fair that we should be working in concert with whichever institution is manning those so we can... Work. Well, we have officially informed the Ghana Police Administration of the challenges that we are having, particularly with the theft and the vandalization, so that they can assist us. We're giving various locations that the theft has occurred and seeking their assistance to help us. Um, it's about 150000 It's not cheap. But... The sad part is, I wonder what the thieves are going to use the controller for. I don't know. I need to be educated. Because is this sold on the market? Is this something you can buy and use for other things? Probably. They will vandalize, they will cannibalize it and use it for something. I don't know. But I, I, I have a difficulty in what they are using it for. The cables, yes, I'm sure the cables they can use for something else. So we are trying to lock the cables and make sure that you can't get access into the, the, the chamber without the requisite equipment. Bayard is not the sole intersection grappling with 40 traffic lights. James Samu Gottfried reviews that approximately 39% of traffic lights in Ghana suffer from similar issues. He goes on to list these troubled intersections and elaborates on the efforts his department is undertaking to rectify the situation. We are managing a total of 404 traffic lights nationwide. Uh, Ghana is not just a car. Nation, 404 traffic lights, out of which we have 247 working. That's about 61%. And uh, 135 not functioning. Last week, um, I don't know, I, I didn't hear you talk about it, but last week, Baoleshi traffic lights came on. Are you aware? Baoleshi, this is East Legon. East Legon. Okay. It had been on for quite some time. Um, 
a number of them. Uh, at Apenkwa, both east and west, the lights came on. Shell signboard, a splinter through hydrophone, some repair works were done. The Temashaman overpass, the lights have come on. But these are, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are still quite a number which are not working, and some have not been working for some time. I know one that we mentioned a lot is Castle Road, that's Cathedral, uh, TUC is not working. We are hoping to bring them on in the shortest possible time, either this week or next week. He urges the public to remain vigilant and assist in identifying individuals who vandalize or steal components of the road infrastructure, making a plea for collective responsibility in safeguarding these essential One thing we also know is that people are very bold these days. They come in reflective jackets and touch and steal public property in the broad daylight. So we have also decided that we are going to come up with tax and ID cards with a quick response code so that anybody can accost them, particularly the police, and find out whether they are authorized to work where they will be working. Because some of these things are done in broad daylight. In addition to the lights coming on, we are trying to paint the pools and make the intersections also as attractive as possible. We want the public to know that, yes, these are public property and there, is, there are people in charge. So as much as possible, we'll address it and we are collaborating with the police. And our last meeting, we met with the Greater Accra Municipal Rules Directors, our regional office, and members of the MTTD. So we are trying to come up with ways of rewarding those who report to us these thefts and accidents and all that. So we are coming up with ways in which we can address the problem as and when they do okay. But it's been very challenging. For City News, I am Caleb Kuda.